All right, folks, I am going to attempt to make my own priming compound. This is the H48 recipe. Um, pretty simple to do, but you got to be a little careful because some of this stuff isn't friendly. So the first is nine grains of antimony sulfide. Make sure that's nice and powdery. Okay, so make sure it's all broke up. Mm -hmm. Break up the little pieces. Anything you're gonna do, just kind of. This stuff's pretty stable right now. Okay. Pretty good. A couple little pieces here and there. It's all into the center. Get nice and happy. All right. A couple little pieces over here and over there. And we got three grains of sulfur. Break that up a little bit right here on its own little card. Three grains of sulfur. Four grains of ground glass, very finely ground glass. That's in there. Give this a little mix. Mix her up nice, happy, happy little chemicals. Happy little chemicals. Oh, nice pile here. Alright. Two tenths of a grain of sodium bicarbonate. And two tenths of a grain of aluminum powder. And again, we're just going to very gently mix all the happy little chemicals together. Happy little chemicals. Quite simple. Now we have potassium chlorate, our unhappy chemical. And we're going to make sure this is all broken up nice. This is 17 grains of potassium chlorate. And I probably should have broke this up before I started filming. But that's my fault. You have to bear with me. Do not just dump this directly into that mixture. Once this is added together, it will be very shock sensitive. And it will no longer be happy chemicals. It will be unhappy chemicals. So, grind this up nice and fine while it's over here, away from the happy chemicals. You can probably end up fast forwarding through this a little bit here. But since I got it running and I don't feel like fiddling with the camera, I'll let it go. Nice and fine. This is 17 grains. I'm sorry for that ding. Somebody sent me a message. Nice and fine. It's looking pretty good. Looking nice. Unhappy like it's supposed to be. Alright. I'm keeping these separate right now. They're close together, but not too close. Alright, 
Now, to make this together, we're just going to just fold them in. Fold them in. That way. That way. This way. Just kind of back and forth. So it's starting to combine. Back and forth. Trying to keep this as from being unfriendly. I feel like I'm anything below a basement right now. Especially when I'm that close to it. Now, very gently, I'm just going to use this brush to kind of combine this all together. Make it a nice, even gray color. Nice, even gray color. You kind of the brush is very gentle. You see in little small parts, I can kind of move them around till they break up. When I push down on it and cr try and crush it, because this will be very unhappy if you do that. And we must keep our chemicals as happy as possible, so the wife doesn't get mad. And I keep all my fingers. Blend it, blend it, blend it. Blend it. And the little one there right there, kind of push it around with the brush so it falls apart. I think I'm going to... Sorry, we had a little video failure there. She's back up and running again. Okay. Looking pretty good. Alright, last little bit. Alright. Well, we're going to attempt to load some of these in some primers. And see, well, see what happens. So, I'm going to grab a few primers here. One. Two. Three. Four and five. Five happy little primers. All right, let's do six. Let's do six. Six. Easy even number. Now I have my little gadget here that I use to fill these up. I've been doing this with Primal for a while, and it seems to be working pretty good. But let's see. Well, this compound works. This will be a little more energetic. I just brush this into here, fill them up because they'll get tamped down lightly when I uh, add the acetone. There's two, one. And we got two more here. One. Come on, line up. Two. Get that happy boy up. Pull this happy one up. Good. Four. And yes, this is tedious and time consuming, but it's fun. And there. And one more. Fill that happy one up. There we go. All right. Boom. And boom. Six wonderful little primers. Now we're gonna go and add acetone to these. This is a mixture of one part acetone, or sorry, seven parts acetone, one part shellac. And the shellac helps this form a nice 
solid disk. One drop, drop in. Wets everything down. Makes it safer to compact. Safer, not perfectly safe. Nothing's perfectly safe. And I need to my little paper. Ah. Okay. All right, I have some paper discs here that we will place on here and tap them down. Voila. Another one. Tap it down. Okay. And another one. And another one. I dropped them. And another one. Sorry about this, guys. They fell off the bench. They blow away. You just move that. When I was moving the paper around, they uh, blew off. All right, we get more than enough. Back in, pick it up, drop it in, push it down, pick it up, drop it in, push it, push it down, pick one up, drop it in, push it down. Now, paper may or may not be completely necessary all the time, but. Uh, I've had good success using it with the Primal, so I'm going to stick it with this on these too, and we'll see what happens. All right, that's done. Now we'll add in some anvils, which I have right here. All right. Yes, it's time consuming. Five. And number six. Alright, now I'm gonna push these into place. I have to read. Alright, this is the my press that I used to set the anvils in. It keeps me away from them when I'm giving it a push so they don't scare the heck out of me when they blow up. I only had that happen once because I let the compound dry too much. Again, that was a prime all. So, these are still really wet. So, they should be pretty safe. Get it lined up. There we go. here good five oof that one was not in right and it detonated so we'll do six and that was my fault because I gave it too hard of a press and it's six, five we got five good ones that's a good thing I did six. All right, let those dry, and uh, we'll test them out tomorrow. I'll compare them to the Primal and then standard primer so we can see what happens. Thanks for watching.